been feeling so small Watch the clock ticking off the wall But tonight I'm letting it go Spend my coin for sure I'm gonna be myself Or I could be someone else No one's stopping me now I'm gonna skip You're not days. helping I'm gonna make mistakes Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kristen and I'm here to share real life, legit, real life, what is going on, where I'm at, what I'm doing, and holy freaking cow, how crazy is my, how crazy is my life? Like, why do I feel like I am constantly living in my survival mode? Like, I don't even know what it feels like to be normal. To feel normal, to have a normal, no, 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 I can't even speak, a normal nervous system. What even is that? Because I live on the edge. I live filled with anxiety, with stress, with fear, with worry, with, ah! it's exhausting. It's exhausting living with mental health issues, living with mental health disabilities. Whoa, 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 what is going on? Um, Kristen, you're in the wrong house. Back up a second. <laughs> I'm gonna catch everybody up really fast on who I am, what's going on, all that fun stuff if you're new to my channel. If you have been here for a while, you basically have the gist of it. Even though I'm kind of quiet a bit, I'm coming back. I'm coming back. I promise. Let's get this over with. My name is Kristen. I am 41 years old. I have five children. Two of them are over the age of 20, and then I have three underage kids. This is a good day as any to start the rebuilding of life. My first two kids are from my first marriage when I was a child. I got married at 16. I was married up until 20. Had my first two kids at 18 and 19. And I can feel. The footage in the bathroom is me cleaning the house in the woods that I moved into during my isolation. I went into a year of isolation basically because I wanted to shut myself out from the world, from people, from influences, from anything because I realized that I am a very vulnerable person and I am easily manipulated. Talking about revenue. She kept dreaming of a world big enough for everyone. During that year, my husband, my ex husband, soon to be ex husband, we are um, just filed divorce papers. Needless to say, we're no contact now. And we, after the year in that house, I moved in there for three months, didn't work out. I am now in an apartment, and I shared that in my last video that I am now living in this apartment. And yeah there's so much to say but i just don't know what all to say yet so i'm just gonna keep going with what i have what i have severe childhood trauma and it's impossible to heal from it's impossible we're wasting time on stuff 
It doesn't really matter While wishing for something better And they go living the majority of their lives not knowing it, not understanding it, not seeing it, just thinking that there's something wrong with them. Thinking that they're crazy. Thinking that their 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 nervous system, their hijacked nervous system is a burden, is a problem, is something wrong with them. It's Took not. A blow, turned it's a not. G. Those lessons come me deep. I've never been the same. In it bright or monotone, deep splashes of black, in pain the contrast grows. Guys, if you have lived through trauma, especially complex trauma, which is multiple, multiple layers of trauma, if you've lived in a situation, say if you were a child and you were abused, I have no idea what happened, but the rest of my video clips that I took talking did not the sound didn't work which is weird because it did for the first few minutes that i was talking i have no idea but anyways what i was saying was if you were abused as a child or even in a long-term abusive relationship or anything like that that can cause complex trauma or complex ptsd I don't know if any of you guys know who Dr. Romani is, but that's who I'm watching here on my iPad. I'm listening to her videos. I just saw that she has a brand new network that she's coming out with where each one of us can go in there and ask her a question. I'm going to get emotional thinking about it because Dr. Romani, I'm going to just put it out there. She saved my life. I have been watching her videos for 10 years now, I think. Just about. And she saved me. She'll never understand how much she saved me. She made me feel seen, valued, important, worthy. She made me realize it's not me. I'm not the problem. I'm not the burden. I'm not the needy one. I'm not the crazy one. I'm not delusional. I deserve to breathe air. I deserve to be here. I deserve to be a human. I deserve my authenticity and my humanity. That's what she taught me, that I'm a person I'm a person and I am worthy of true, honest, respect, loyalty, and love. And because I promised that I would be real here, guys, here it is. This is me. Just like we're addicts, I kind of like it like that. <sighs> okay, it's hard. But... My emotional flashbacks are pretty severe. I lived through some really scary experiences that my brain shut off. And through all this healing, I'm remembering them. And while I'm remembering them, I'm processing them. And I'm correcting them. Because while I was living them, I shut it out. I turned it off. My brain protected me. And it didn't let me feel the emotions in the moment. And because of that, I didn't know. I didn't understand. And I shut them out for a lifetime. So now I am feeling every single one of my traumas. And I have a lot. And they're pretty dang severe. And I had no idea. But I'm healing. It might not look like it, but I'm healing. I am coming so far with this healing journey. My awakening. It's beautiful. And if you guys would like to join me through it all, I would love to have you. Thank you so much for being here, for being so kind, for being so patient and so understanding because I come and go. My mental health has been terrible the past few years, but 
I'm healing. I'm healing. See you guys in the next video.